Hey there guys, Neil here, back with a game review. So for this week's review, I wanted to talk about a um, game that not necessarily was announced recently, but has been available for some time and is available for free. And that's, as you saw, Roller Coaster Tycoon for mobile. So what this version is, is, is Roller, to Roller Coaster Tycoon, but made for the mobile platform, so Android and iOS. So you'll see that it looks a little bit different than um, Roller Coaster Tycoon that was originally released for um, the desktop PC, maybe Macintosh, but I'm not sure. So you have a slightly different UI look and feel and all of that. Um, so while the Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic, which was recently released, is $5.99, this is available for free and has in-app purchases. So once you start playing the game, you do get a standard square um, park like you see here. I did already start playing and I have expanded a little bit as well as you can see with this coaster here, uh, the steel one. And I started building some things as well. Um, when you launch the game initially, you do get a tutorial. You can log in on at least on Android with Google Play Games and start building up your park with various restaurants and roller coasters and attractions and things like that. So. Um, as you can see, I have a few things going on already. I do need to collect some money. So the UI is simple and straightforward. So touching um, various attractions that collect money will allow you to put the money in your bank. I recently built this uh, ride here. So I have now leveled up to seven. So I get a few new attractions as well. Um, and then clicking on the world map is actually something new. So I'll click there, see what's um, going on so I guess I'm a real tycoon so I can give myself a proper name so uh, rather than roller coaster tycoon land um, I can change it to whatever I want so um, actually I don't even know what I would want to call myself as the tycoon so um, I'll come up with something weirdly creative So, um, I give uh, myself a name, Merging of Star Wars and Monopoly, and um, I can now, I guess, expand into more regions as well. So, I can tap on my park and go to my park and resume collecting money and do various things here and then um, the beauty of the game though as well is that you can now have goals as well so as you uh, level up it will give you for example these goals like I need to build a boutique hotel a daycare connect to face uh, Facebook for other attractions and things like that so I'm actually just going to collect money I guess I get fees from an, my ATM it looks like my Ferris wheel is broken down so you get a nice little wrench and like you saw when I first launched the game it tells me that a couple of rides have broken down, so touching it will fix the ride. My merry-go-round has also um, broken down as well as my wooden roller coaster. And um, as you play the game, you can build, as, and as you gain more and more money, you can also um, expand your roller coasters as well. So I'm going to change my perspective on the roller coaster a little bit so you get more of the ride. And you can kind of see what I built here. The animations are pretty nifty, very smooth. Um, and I'll give the usual disclaimer of the higher the um, your graphics processor and more uh, specs on the device, the better it will perform. Um, so my even though my wooden roller coaster is pretty straightforward, I have it set up just pretty straightforward, nothing too scary, nothing too crazy, but fun enough for um, the guests. And then if you want to learn a little bit more about your, your ride and get its rating, you can touch the ride and then touch this rating. And as you can see, my excitement rating is 2.3 out of 3.8. Um, and it's 45 hours old. And then uh, clicking on guests will allow you to uh, see what they're thinking. So this guest wants to spin in circles forever. Um, if you see smiley faces, you can get the general... Um, Thoughts of um, happy guests, see what they like about the park. If you see someone unhappy, you can um, see what's making them unhappy. Or if you find that um, they're unhappy because there's something that's not available, then you can um, build that for them. And then I'm, since I can now have them, I have the money and level up for this boutique motel, I will confirm that. And then you can um, obviously use your cards and star power to complete... Um, 
attractions immediately. In this case, I'm not going to touch it um, for anything at the moment. And like, here's my um, happy guess and it says, I want food. So let's say you there's you find that a lot of guests find that there's not enough food. Um, you can click on build and you have your various marketplace. So what um, various things that you want to uh, give them. So let's see what this food rush is. Um, so you can build um, ham for special burgers and you have maintenance so a maintenance shop so let's see maintenance is just a maintenance building and you have all these various things you can do and then hitting the back button you can for example let's see hotels i'm building a boutique you can build a plaza a resort and all of that if you want decoration so trees and shrubs and benches welcome signs uh, flower pots additional restrooms so actually i haven't built and i don't have the coins so i only have 33 left so for now, I'll have to leave everything as is. And then you can even move your shrubberies around if you so choose. So I'll type that. And I'll move this over here a little bit. Um, if you see, as you're building your park, you're moving a lot of um, your sh your things around. And you find that they can be placed in better places. Um, then you can always move them around like you see I'm doing. Um that way there's there are more um, places as well so i'm gonna get some more money by clicking on those and i'll let my uh, game keep going like that and then as you uh, level up you get more attractions um you get more rides food shops and things like that so it's always good to keep upgrading and building play for example places to stay so i have a motel here um so if i want to um so I can't upgrade it at the moment, but your rides are also upgradable. So touching on them um, will allow you to upgrade by clicking upgrade. So I want to upgrade my octopus ride, so it's going to go into upgrade. If you want to add a queue, you can do that as well. So for example, I'm going to add a queue um, to my uh, steel roller coaster here. So I'm going to uh, get rid of some of my... Um, my pathways here and I'll hit sell I'll touch my ride a little bit all right there and I'll hit add queue um that way and I don't even have enough money for it so um I guess I'll have to wait till I have around 1500 um or I'll need 1500 coins in order to do that so it's gonna be a little while so let's see woody roller co uh, I'll hit that add queue uh, I still need 1,500 um, coins. And then the other thing, lastly, if you're, of course, is that you can name your park and your roller coaster. So in this case, I named my roller coaster, my wooden roller coaster, Woody. And if I go to edit, um, there, and I actually can't find it, but you can, and when you build your roller coaster, you can um, change the name of it so that way you have a name and that's done when you finish building it so i named that woody i named my steel one clippy um and then um my park name is just my username for google play game so um all sorts of different options you can uh, move around as you can want and then as you grow your park and you run out of space if you touch on open spaces um if you want to expand you can buy for example this plot is two thousand coins so once i get there and i need more space then i'll do that and i'll build more attractions so that's basically the bulk of the game um you can go into settings if you want to adjust um sounds and music if you are um, what notifications you want to get Tie your game to Google Play Music, play music as you're playing the game and all of that stuff. So um, basically, it's basically your standard options, but you also have a very customizable park. So if you want to get into it and play a slightly more, a slightly different version of um, Roller Coaster Tycoon, then Roller Coaster Tycoon for mobile is available to play. So it is available for free in Google Play and for in the Apple um, App Store. So um, basically the same game is getting, I want to say regular updates. It was updated within the past couple of weeks. So, 
Um, it is a game that's still available if you want a, something slightly different than your usual Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic, which is based off of Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 and 2. So that is all for this particular review. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything like that, you can email me at headphonesneal at yahoo.com. You can find me on Twitter at pateln01. Um, and that's all there is for this particular review. Thanks for watching and listening, and until next time.